Hey guys, today I want to talk about a regular practice session. I get a lot of questions about, hey, what is what does practice look like for you? What are you doing? Um, so I thought I'd talk about what I did today in my practice. I understand the way that I practice is not what normal people do, as you <laughs> you will soon discover uh, if you listen to what I'm doing. It's just not like it's a business expense for me to shoot up ammo like this. Uh, it is not like that for, for uh, most people, and I understand that. But this is just what I do. So anyway, uh, for me, practicing, it's, it's not like I just go do one thing every day and it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be radically different uh, day to day. Uh, each, each day's practice gets planned out as part of you know what, whatever my training cycle looks like for uh, a few weeks mostly this year it's been, hey, you can go practice like one day in this stretch of two weeks uh, just because of what my travel schedule looks like. And that that's a lot, well, this year it's been a lot more like maintenance type practice just because I haven't had much time because I've been so busy with, uh, with uh, travel and teaching and doing all that. Um, this, uh, this week is different. Uh, I have more time for training. So I have like an actual training cycle I'm doing now. One thing I've been missing out on this year is doing USPSA for obvious reasons. So I wanted to practice uh, like USPSA style, uh, stage type stuff, like a lot of movement, a lot of shooting, that sort of thing. Cause I haven't got, I haven't done any matches this year. And I wanted to do that with both my rifles and my pistol. So uh, went out today, I set up my USPSA kind of like a normal movement scenario. And what I do is I just set up some targets, like a, a random mix. Today it was four targets. One of them was partial. It was just a head box. And I set these up and then I set up cones, different colors all over the range, different distances. And I just shoot little mini stages like, hey, these two targets from this cone, four targets from this cone over here, run to this cone and shoot those three targets. And there you go, just do that. That'll be like a little mini stage or whatever. So set that up um, and start doing drills like that. Now this is uh, really good as far as getting used to moving and shooting. You can shoot the same scenario multiple times and try to drive the time down or try different things. And I started training like this this morning with, uh, with the rifle. So the way I do it with the rifle is I'm going to bring at least two guns and I'll shoot them and, and trade them off for heat. Once I start to feel heat through the handguard, I don't put on a glove or anything. I just change guns. Uh, usually I can do like two, three mags, then change guns, two, two, three mags, then change back, and then just like two mags, then change back, and, you know, just cycle through them. I went and did that this morning, uh, two guns, just shooting these like little stage setups uh, for about 300 rounds. That took me about 40 minutes uh, with the rifles because it took me so long to stuff mags. And there's no reason to rush because the heat's going to slow things down. I was only using two different guns. Now, the way I did the training, I'd shoot my little scenario or whatever. And then there's kind of three paces I'll work with. Like as fast as I can get the rounds out of the gun onto the target. Um, shooting like a controlled pace. And then shooting like a push pace where I'm uh, going a little faster that I'm comfortable and I'm not quite getting what I want as far as the outcome, but I'm, you know, trying to work through it. And then when I shoot as fast as I can hang them on the target, um, when I shoot as fast as I can hang them on the target, it's just seeing, literally just seeing how fast I can go. And I work to see like, all right, what's happening when I shoot super fast. So, you know, I just did it. I work, you know, work through it for a few hundred rounds, experience the normal range of problems. As the shooting gets closer and faster with the rifle, I tend to want to, you know, tense up and clamp down. And that's usually not very productive or accurate as I, you know, need to keep acquiring targets and keep shooting them when I tense up. It's like, it's not very good. So anyway, work through that until the guns got hot. Then I switched to my handgun. So this week I've been training with my competition CZs. I haven't done it much this year. When I'm traveling a lot, honestly, it's just easier to bring Glocks because I don't have to worry about them as much maintenance wise. So uh, I've been shooting my Glocks a lot. So I decided to shoot my CZ and shoot uh, reloads, which I haven't done a lot of this year. So I loaded up 250 rounds 
And uh, once I got the, the rifles hot and I was tired of doing that, switched to the handgun and shot through the, uh, the ammo that I brought for the day. Doing the same thing, shooting very, very aggressively on these little, little stages, working like, hey, how fast can I, can I hang them on the paper versus, you know, how much, uh, like, what can I get away with when I'm shooting with a lot of control? What's holding me back from being able to shoot faster with control? And, uh, you know, and just work through it. Now, those those numbers, ironic, well, this isn't ironic. You would expect it with me. Um, my controlled shooting with my, with you know, with that CZ, controlled shooting at 15 yards is not a whole lot slower than shooting as fast as I can, you know, hang them on brown at 15 yards. They're pretty similar uh, in terms of pace. Um with the rifle, it's different, of course, because I'm still learning that quite a lot. Anyway, uh, all up, I shot 550 rounds today doing this. I drove onto the range at 8 a.m., and I was driving off at 9.21. Um, what made it fast, um, the only thing I made sure I pasted was the head box partial target I had. I made sure I kept that very restored so I could tell exactly what was going on with it. Um, because as soon as you know you cluster a bunch of holes on there, if you miss, it, you can't really tell. So uh, I restored that one frequently, so I had a total accountability on that. And then on the uh, the non-partial targets, the open targets, I pasted everything outside the A zone. So I had plenty of accountability, but it did speed up the session. I don't have to pick up brass at that range, so 550 rounds only took 80 minutes, like I said. Anyway, there you go. That's what a practice session looks like. If you're curious, got more questions, comments, you can put it down below.